For the materials, you'll be needing sponge. So this one is memory foam, but I also like to use density foam. If you're wondering where to buy it, you could buy it off of eBay or Amazon. Next, I highly recommend that you use puffy paint, which is also called fabric paint. And if you choose to use any other paint, I don't really recommend it because they will just end up cracking into a million pieces. And finally, you'll be needing magnets, and I really recommend like this rectangle one, but I'm gonna be using these for this video because I only have one. I think my foam is a little bit on the thin side, but I'm just gonna use it anyway. So first, you wanna cut your foam into a rectangle, and all you do is curve the corners. After you have curved all four corners, you're going to cut off about an inch for the controllers. The length of my sponge is about 6 inches, so you could choose however much you want to cut off. Now you want to grab the piece you just cut and match it along the other side, and you also want to cut that. I didn't cut the lines very straight, but there's nothing I could do about it now. So now you want to cut a hole inside the sponge and you're going to glue in the magnet there. You want to make sure that both parts align and you're going to hot glue in the magnets into the holes that you made. Okay, this was actually quite a disaster because my foam is way too thin and that's why you could see like the bumps over here. I just managed to squeeze them in there with some hot glue and they do stick together but it looks really awkward so I'm just gonna hope that when I paint it I could cover up the bumps. So now you just wanna create a circle for the joystick. So I cut out two circles and they're going to be my joysticks and they look pretty bad but I'm going to hope the paint again covers it up. So first you want to color in the whole middle section with grey paint and I made a mistake and I did black first so I'm just going to cover it up with grey. Now you just color the frame of the screen with black paint and you're also going to color the entire rest of the sponge with black paint. Now you're going to color in the controllers and for the blue paint, I'm mixing a little bit of light blue puppy paint and also a darker shade of light blue of acrylic paint. And then I proceeded with adding more details onto the Nintendo Switch. I'm sticking on the joysticks onto the controllers with some black puffy paint. This is it for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I think this turned out pretty good. And the black paint really covered up the bumps of the magnet really well. You could barely see the bump. If you enjoyed watching, please subscribe to my channel for more videos and like this video, share, comment, and yeah, see you guys next time. Bye!